Okay, today we're gonna talk about punches. Oh, ah! The Bruce Lee in me. Okay, punches. All punches start from stances. So you either punch from a horse stance for training purposes, you can punch from a back stance for maybe some good Bruce Lee purposes. You'll get that, we'll get that, the, the you know, jab and the back fist, we'll get there later. But the first thing I want to show you is the reverse punch, okay? Get into a horse stance position. In the horse stance position, like I said, is the very first thing you're going to learn, horse stance, okay? Now, this is called a missile position, okay? If you turn sideways, well, she's going to turn sideways, you can you see the missile position, okay, parallel to the ground, and it's flush to her rib cage, on the side of her rib cage. Now, think about a missile inside of a submarine. When it's launched, meow, pow, there you go. That's why I call it the missile position. So what we do, get him, so we face, all right. First position, bring both arms out, okay? Turn sideways. Now, what you don't supposed to do is hyperextend that elbow out. Relax it, okay, keep it straight. Don't over like, do like this, keep it straight, okay? The best way you can learn this is just bring both arms out first, okay? Relax your shoulder. Now, keep the right arm out and bring the left back to a missile position. You should be in a perfect reverse punch. This is called the reverse punch. Wonder why it's called a reverse punch? Hmm, because you're reversing from left to right. You're crossing as it's turning, it's coming from here, missile, but then when it goes out to the position, it turns. Now, some people do this. That's not good, okay? Because this has no power at all, okay? But if you turn, now it has all the power in the world, okay? That you can conjure up, all right? So, she's going to do five reverse punches. By the way, this is my daughter, Tisha, okay? Okay, ready? Do five reverse punches. Very slow. Now watch her as she transitions from one punch to another. Very simple. And you always have to have a smile on the face too, okay? Now, you see it from the side view. Now, from the frontal view, get in a horse stance position, missile position, bring your right arm out. Now, you see, she's not here. She's right in the center of her sternum. The sternum goes out, she's punching right in the center. She reverse it, it's still in the center. So do not go like this. Don't do that. You do this. Okay. Maintain your horse stance. This is going to help you build your quadriceps up. It's going to be great. Yeah. And then you have that smile. You know, that takes a lot of muscles to smile, by the way. You know that? Yeah, that's a fact. Okay, go ahead. All right. Now do five good strong ones. Ready? Go. Two, three, four, five. Woo. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there later. She's not in college yet. Okay. All right. So that was reverse punches. Reverse punches. Okay. Now our next punch is going to be a center punch. Now. The center punch comes from, um, what does it come from? It comes from this tree, maybe? No, no, just joking. Center punch actually was developed by Wing Chun, short bursts of energy into a small space in confinement. Pow! Okay, so get in the horse stance. Now, Wing Chun starts at a horse stance because I will always want you to do anything, everything in a horse stance. Why? It's because it helps you build your legs. And my dog is standing here, and uh, I don't have a dog stance for you. Y'all can go that way. Thank you. All right. That's my dogs, Batty and Yodi. Okay. Now, horse stance position. What you want to do now, bring your arms up. Put one on top of each other in a fist. Okay just like this, okay? Now we're gonna turn a little bit, or just a sideways, just a sideways, so you can see, okay, and turn the other way, okay? 
So she has her right and a fist over her left. Beautiful. Okay, go back in the front ways. Now, what you want to do now, this is the beginning. You bring it straight back to your chest, but keep those knuckles visible in front. Okay? Now, here starts the punching action. Right arm goes out first. Okay? Then she's going to reverse it by bringing the right arm lower and reverse it on top. You're almost going to do almost like a round circle. Okay? We'll get to this later. Okay? We're just going to go for basics. Okay? Now, why is it called center punch? Because it's coming from the center of your body. Okay? From the center. So by studying this a lot and doing this maybe 500 times a night, you will develop those tricep muscles, the delts, oh man, the trats. You're going to develop all of those things. What? Those are real words. Okay. <laughs> Deltoids and trapdorials. But anyway, but anyway, okay. Those are real words. Okay, so you're going to you use these. Use it because what happens is when you do this a lot, you're going to get real strong. You've seen Bruce Lee do an inch punch. I mean, he stand like this. He's like, pow! It works. <laughs> okay, now let's turn sideways. Now, when you're doing the reverse punch, I mean, excuse me, the center punch, okay, go out and put it out first, bring it back. Okay, go. Now, here, relax. No here. No, 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 no. You're only doing here. Okay, go. See? Go. N no, no, no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. All right, go. Do it again. 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 Now do it. Ten fast. Ready, go. Okay, did she, did she do it? Did she do a good job? All right, good job. All right. Why center punch? Center punch develop what? Now, at this point, Delta you should you should see the areas in point. Tri muscles. Triceps. Thank you. That's why I said tri muscles. Triceps. <laughs> Trats. Tractorials. The delts here in the upper arm. Uh, get it? Got it. All right. Now, the, the two stances, I mean, the two positions that we taught you, okay, is the horse stance and the front stance. Now, you can also do it in a front stance position. You can do it in a cat stance position. Kind of hard to do it in a side position, but these are all, well, yeah, it's kind of hard. These are all things that you need to learn how to do, and you need to practice these every day. Yeah. Okay. Back to the training. Okay. Now, the third punch. It's very beautiful. Remember, you did reverse punch. Now you did the center punch. Okay. Now you're going to do the back fist. So, in the back fist, you're going to stand in the back stance. Let's go. Get in the back stance. You're facing me. We're up here. Back stance. Okay. Now you're going to be in the fighting stance. What you want to do, the back fist hits the back here. It's a back of the fist, and it's going to come and hit just like really fast. Okay. So let's try this again. Ready? Go. Ow. In the editing part, you're going to hear this. Okay, now, back fist usually good for the first strike ag aggression. You're up here, you say, pow! Maybe they won't do anything. They'll probably be just like, whoa, that guy did it really quick. Okay, I'm going to just walk away, right? Mm -hmm. Hope that, <laughs> that's martial arts. Do it real fast, boom, okay? But then, you always have to understand when you go to a back, you loosen, relax. It is a strike, not a hit. Different. Strike is fast and easy. Hits are hard. Ugh. But you don't want to be hard here. You want to be fast. And go back to your position. Get me? Yes. Okay. So here, go. Now, 
You understand that? Okay. So you will combine these two together. While we're in this position here, which is called a, yes, that person right there in that living room. Yes, you. Yeah, you, uh -huh. with the red shirt on, eating the popcorn. Okay, you. You said fighting stance. Good job. Let me show you a jab. Now, you, we're in boxing. You know we hear jabs all the time. We're going to do a jab here, okay? I'm in position here. It's going to do a jab, but you're going to stay there. Go. Okay, here. Okay, now, the jab part here. This arm is up. Why? Maybe for blocking. Come in here, okay? And here, now remember the reverse, I mean the center punch? You remember those center punches you were doing? Well, this is a modified center punch from the jab position, all right? See what I'm saying? Then she's going to go back. Boom. So it's like this. Ah, she really hit me. <laughs> it's not good. We're supposed to but hit here. Boom. And go back. Beautiful. Okay. The jab is the first, but then you have the back fist. You remember the back fist? You got the jab, and then I'm like, oh, then you're gonna have the back fist. Whoa, that's some uh, it man type of stuff, huh? <laughs> jab, back fist, go. First, when I'm this far, I don't really want her to hit me, but she's trying to come to me, so I'm trying to get as far back. So, but you never want to overhype the sin. Let me see. If that's too far, I guess I could just pull her off balance. So, no, let's not do that. I'm glad that she did that, and usually she did that just for you to learn that if you can't get a close combat jab position, don't do a jab from this far out. What you would do from this far out is probably the back fist, but never the jab. If you get up closely, then you can go to the jab with the back fist. So let's do the jab back fist. But I'm standing back here so I can demonstrate it on you. Jab, okay. Now, one thing about jab, make sure that you're leaning backwards. I'm going to tell you why. If you're leaning forward, straight up. No, 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 you, we're not in commercials. Give me, give me a good one. Okay, when you're leaning straight up, okay, that means I already have her body. If she's leaning as a jagged position, I know most of you guys probably go to maybe um, – Camping, and when you drive a stake from the uh, your tent into the ground, you never drive it straight up. Why? Because it pulls up. You always want to angle it this way, chick, chick, especially if the rope's this way. You want to angle it, so all the pressure. So that's exactly what you want to do here. Angle, okay? Then she's gonna come back and do a back fist. So jab, back fist. Ready? Go. Okay. Now you can do it at the same time. Okay, a jab back fist would look like how? Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of weird. Let's do it again. Go. It's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like. Oh. <laughs> All right, jab back fist. You can do it at the same time. You don't have to keep it out there. You can bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. All right. Do we understand that? So, let's turn around. We have reverse punch. Demonstrate reverse punch. Five. There you go. Go and ma make sure that you know no extension here. Okay. Then you're going to do a center punch while you're in a horse stance. Bring it out. Bring it back in. You're going to do five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Then you're going to face the audience, and you're going to do a jab. Okay, you see that? You see that guy right there that's sitting? Yep, that one right there with no shirt. Put your shirt on, man. All right, ready? Jab. Yep, you hit him. You hit him. You hit him. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it, man? All right, then you gonna do a back fist. Go. Pop. Jab back fist. Ready? Go. Pop. Pop. Ready? Go. Pop. Pop. Good job. Good job. All right. Now. Stand up, thank you. Center punch, reverse punch, jab, back fist. That sounds like a pretty good start, huh? Just for the basic level, we're going to get to some other stuff like power punching, curvatures. Oh, man, we get into some stuff. Next time, I'm going to bring that to you. <laughs>
I, I, I'm a corny guy. I'm her father. I'm always corny. Am I corny? Okay, ready? Thank you so much. We're going we're gonna to bow out this time. Ready? Go. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Let's go.